rolling in. We have a $25 donation for Buford. They're coming. It's nothing but ampersands. This is incredible. Everybody give it up. Let's go. But everybody out there, get super hyped for Keku. He's going to be bringing us Metroid Dread. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Keku, or Keku Man Show You. Uh, I'll be running Metro Dread, of course. Uh, got my commentators here, the legendary runner, Olsen Goat. Thank you, Keku. Thank you. <laughs> give it up. We got, give it up. And we got Steffi, who makes, who's going to make sure my run is quality crisp. Oh, uh, yeah. Quality crisp. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Uh, really quick shout out. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my family back in Hawaii, uh, especially to my son, because he would love to hear this knock knock joke. Uh, I hope the audience would be able to participate with me. I might have to take off my mic because I'm going to say it loud. But uh, anyway, all right. Also, if you're from Hawaii, you understand. If you're Samoan, you'll understand. If you watch Moana, then you'll understand. Knock, knock. Who goes there? Chi. Chi who? Chi who? <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I'll be starting off again. Metro Dread is a pretty, <laughs> is a pretty quick speed run, uh, really fast. Uh, lots of cool tricks and movement, and uh, the boss fights, the boss fights are really, really cool. All right, let's, let's get started in five, four, four three, two, two one, one, go! Hey, good luck, Kaku. Thank you. Good luck. So first off, we got this uh, intro. Very important. It's going to tell you how to do things. You're reading through it, right? No. Yeah. That's oh. not it? Are you speedrunning the intro? Like yeah, I have to speedrun the intro. The instruction manual and everything as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. So first off, we're here uh, with Samus. One cool thing about uh, this game is that there's a lot of mechanics from Fusion and Zero Mission, but Samus can actually slide in this game. This is a very freely flowing movement game. They did a fantastic job. Yeah. Look at the slides. Slide into the DMs like that. Some quick mashing through um, through Adam here. So uh, yeah. it's not too many of uh, Adam we're going to see. Hit. We um, got this little tutorial. This is a melee tutorial. It's a very important mechanic. Just some uh, basic movement here at the start. Um, Kind of teaches you how to be quick with ledge grabs, and then you you uh, basically just jump right at the ledge grab. Um, this is the first trick. It's um, oh. a uh, just a pseudo wave shot. Basically, you're putting Samus into her, her arm kind of kind of into the um, the tile slightly, so then you can kind of uh, shoot Oops. through these walls. Uh, one thing about these shots as well, um, or these tiles, and the way the game works, is um, if you go out of bounds, the game will just insta kill Samus. So. Yeah, luckily these pseudo shots still work. All right, so we got Corpius here. Yep, first boss. Um, one thing that's tricky about this boss. And nice. There we go, nice. Um, so Keku does not have charge, and he needs to make sure he's hitting most of his first shots on the first phase. Luckily he got through it, and the next phases he can kind of um, use a counter to get some of his ammo back. So hey. the first phase is the hardest part of the Corpius without charge. Right, and then thankfully, in between phases, you get refilled with health should you need it and some ammo Correct. as well. He does a little manipulation here because uh, he doesn't want that tail to hit him, but he wants it always to like land right behind him. Correct. So he'll move forward when he sees that tail attack about to about to happen. Nice. All right. Very good, nice. Good job. Nice. Now we got the Phantom Cloak. Gentlemen, if I may, we are less than 9,000 away from reaching $2 million. Come on, everybody. Oh, wait. I have to check up a few things. I think we can reach the $2 million right now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, right now. <laughs> like, waste no time. So, Phantom Cloak, what it does, it grants Samus in front of invisibility. Oh, like, invincibility? Like that? Yep. So, these, uh, these little gates, you just need to be uh, basically cloaked to go through. So, there's some tech. You, you cloak, slide. Um, and then here's Adam once more. Adam. Once more. Yeah, Adam. I won't spoil anything. Please, please don't. I've never yeah. seen this game run. Just in case run. someone hasn't seen it, I won't I haven't spoil. played it. I'm just going to assume a bunch of things about like how this run goes. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's a little powwow there with Adam. Just, you know, check oh. it in. You know, how's the kids? How's the family? It's been a while since I've seen you. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, if you guys didn't hear the lore, by the way, Samus lost all her power due to uh, physical, physical amnesia. Yes, Whatever amnesia. That means. You'll notice that the um, Emmy is not here. Where is the Emmy? Yeah, where's the Emmy? Oh, hmm. I wonder. I guess we'll find out where the Emmy is soon enough. All right, so this thing will top up no matter what you do. Um, you could avoid it, but then it'll show up anyway in the, the later scene. Um, one cool thing coming up is a um, uh, kind of a, a trick that was found a little bit later on, um, the water skip. Um, basically, he's going to be cloaking out of a, a slide, jump, cloak. It's kind of a, a weird little uh, movement. Ooh, that nice. You got it right away. Wow. Perfect. That's a really good job. Yeah. Less than $4,000, everybody. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keiko, are you gunning for a world record right now? That was that first try. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was good. Uh, you also notice here, no Emmy, once again. Um, Keku's going to be doing a trick that saves about 15 seconds here. Oh, nice. Got a first try again. Try That's again. very, very difficult. Good job. This is why he's running it here yeah, live exactly. on GDQ. Yeah, like, they picked sense. the person to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing you'll notice is a lot of uh, melee attacks. That kind of um, changes Samus' position a little bit. But we, we'll explain that a little bit later with a different trick. And here's Charge Beam. So did you guys notice that this door that's coming up is the Charge Beam door? There's a lot along the way, but it's just like a, another like tutorial that the game provided. One thing you'll notice that um, happens, there's no water in the background because uh, Keku did not um, uh, raise the water. So right. that's an interesting the little detail. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Makes you wonder if the uh, developers you know, had that in mind. Had that in mind. I think they're always like, a step ahead, just, you know? Yeah. It's just like that far ahead, just thinking about, you know, even had speedrunners in mind too. What? I think. Oh my gosh, oh this is my it. God. Someone's gonna go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Oh. Two million! Oh. <laughs> Two million dollars raised! For Dark Step Borders! Thank you everyone for your magnanimous elemosinary contributions! Let's go! Thank you, everybody. Now we can start counting down from like the from the mill right now. Yeah, mill. Yeah. Let's hit it <laughs> within this run. Awesome job. Um, right here, it's just nothing much going on. So if you want, you can read some donation, Dizzy. Yeah, or keep cheering, whatever. Yeah. I do a donation. Why not? We got fifty dollars from uh, Cassis Blocks. As I really enjoyed playing Metroid Dread. Can't wait to see it broken. Let's meet that Mario 64 120 star bonus incentive. Let's go! We are nearly $200,000 out of the $300,000 remaining. Let's keep it going, everybody. Let's go! You can read, like, I think one or two more, by the way. Absolutely. We got Fiend75002 with a $50 donation to MSFs saying, so stoked to see Metroid Dread hit the main stage. Got my soda and popcorn ready. Also, really want to see how quick we can get the Morph Ball in this run. And we also have Dr. Gunn with a $50 donation. They say simply, Ampersand. <laughs> yes, thank you. I, is he Morph Ball or Morb Ball? <laughs> oh, no, oh, you had to do it. Doing, You're not the first that. one to do it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, <laughs> for this game, this game kind of breaks tradition where Morph Ball is not the first item to grab. Yes, you actually get it a little bit later than some of the other games. All right, here's another trick coming up. Yep, um, this is a pretty difficult trick. Uh, Keku does have a setup in here with, uh, with melee. Uh, he'll melee before the first jump. He got it, nice. Yeah. OK, so this is important. I have to activate the Emmy. Otherwise, the game is going to soft lock. Oh, get down there. Yep, so he has to basically just do that trick to activate the Emmy. Um, opening doors as he goes through. All right, here we go. First Emmy fight. Yeah, that's a tough one. Hold your breath. Just tell me when I can breathe, though. Just tell me when I can breathe. Right now, you're good. Oh. Yeah. Not yet, not yet. Oh. Oh, okay, not yet. There's a very difficult trick coming up. Um, so let's see if uh, Keku can nail it here. He's going to be attempting to kill this first enemy very quickly. <sighs> 
Hey, really nice. good job. First Very try. Good. Look at that. Th that slow crawl really like gets you. It really yeah. tenses up the, the part of the run. So if he Woo! doesn't get up to that ledge quick enough and have the almost perfect angle right away, uh, this trick does not work. He has to do it a little bit different. That's right. And now we got Spider Magnet. <laughs> So all those, um, all those blue things on the wall, he can now climb up. Um, basically, it's just used to wall jump um, and grapple onto. The nice part about that is you can um, keep wall jumping on the same wall. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> Good recovery. Gonna be skipping these because he's gonna be ending with a certain amount of missiles. He does not need those. Um, the red ones are uh, worth two, and then there's other missile packs later that are worth ten. I love that movement right there. Yeah, there's some very, very neat movement in this game. Uh, coming up is a pretty difficult trick that's going to allow him to skip the spider magnet. Um, and he's going to go directly to the door. Oh. Okay, I missed the any. Okay. Wait, get away. <laughs> a little poke. Nice. Oh, oh, almost, oh, almost. Oh my gosh. Hey, right, let's go back. That's okay. But, yeah. Okay, one more time. I'll try it again. It's a pretty tough trick because he has to kill these things in such a way, the, uh, the birds. Oh, they're not there anymore. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's oh. okay. You know, that's that's fine. We'll, we'll just we'll just take the top and pretend you did it. That was great. Good, nice job. Yeah. Thank you. Well, he hasn't <laughs> gotten to it yet. But, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. <laughs> Basically, what he was trying to do is um, you have to slide down that slope and uh, just throw those birds in such a way to where there's only one left um, for his setup, and that bird will be high enough to where it will attack, and then he will use his um, aiming in order to get a longer extended damage boost to the door. Yeah. So we got... Uh, Loading screen here. Got to read some donation while I uh, just hum some music. I would love <laughs> to. Thank you, Keku. Let, let me hear this banger you're going to be doing first. Let's hear. OK, OK, OK. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm going to do that. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, he's getting at everything. <laughs> we got $100 from Keku and us together live on camera. Epic. All the best. <laughs> For your hey, runs, thank you so much. <laughs> We're all really bad at this, clearly. Yeah. yeah. So out of sync and everything. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, all right, I don't know when. I'm clapping for Keku, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can read one more, by the way. Sounds good. We got $100 from Sick Pipe. Oh. See, doctors that borders does so much important work in the world. Let's all help Keku dad joke oh. us all the way to that $2 million. Oh, let me say one right now. Since I'm from Hawaii, anybody here knows uh, from Hawaii, uh -huh. by the way, or knows about it? You know, some of us, some of us, we uh, laugh out loud. Other times, we uh, give aloha. Ha. Aloha. Ha, ha. <laughs> I Red get it. Sisters. I get oh it. Oh my god, that is a dad joke. <laughs> I've ever heard one. <laughs> I can I can see my wife not right now just face palming. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> like, there's plenty more for for the family at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're preparing. All right. No one help, but it's okay because I got some enemy, uh, enemies here. And another one here. Will you be going for this trick? Yeah. Okay. That's a neat little trick if you can get it here. Oh, it, it didn't go through. It's okay. Yeah, oh, so okay. basically how he was trying to do the uh, skip earlier, um, but unfortunately it did not work. Um, he was going to use that to damage boost to the, the blue wall, essentially, and then uh, just wall jump right up and skip the whole phase. Yeah, those birds are just not behaving. Yeah. You can utilize them, though, quite well. Um, they do have a lot of knock knockback. Uh, there's a top route here. Uh, Keku's not going to be doing it. It saves a very small amount of time, but it, it mainly just looks cool. You go through a heated room, and that will come out to the right. You'll see a, a red blob on the bottom right. Right there, yeah. Yep, that's the entrance right there. Oops. All right, here's another Emmy. Uh, hopefully it'll... Oops, sorry. It'll Adjust spawn your brightness. In, yeah. <laughs> hopefully it'll spawn in a nice place. All right, he did. Yep. Good. Oh! oh. Yes. Really nice. good. Oh my god, the parry was laser amazing. reaction. Those are actually Ketcher. really, really tight. Yeah, I can't remember the actual frame data, but it's about the first one is um, about 200 milliseconds or so yeah. of reaction speed you need. And then yeah. the second one is just pure luck. You just press the button and hope you get it. 
Yeah. Sometimes but, you just uh, have to like close your eyes and just hope that <laughs> you got yeah. it. Yeah. Basically, in a in the speed run, you do not want to get caught. But if you do, try to get out of it. <laughs> yeah. Do your best. All right. Hopefully, the Emmy. Oh, the Emmy spawned in a nice place. Nice. Oh, nice. Sometimes the Emmy can spawn on the bottom right here, and then Keke will have to do a few things to try to avoid it. Okay. Activate the uh, elevator door. Uh, elevator here. Oh. Alright. You can walk, Sam, it's just fine. <laughs> I need you to run sometimes though. I like how you just randomly decide to like start walking. You're like, <laughs> yeah. oh I'm so determined, I'm just gonna start walking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gotta wait for the magnet walls to come down. Yep, um, coming up shortly, um, there's going to be a pretty difficult trick that was recently found, um, the Atom Skip. Um, right now, Keku is aiming up, so that uh, comes into the view of the camera that opens that top gate. Um, basically, just saves a little bit of time later. Um, so the skip coming up is, uh, uh, like I said, newly found. It requires um, Keku to use his melee attack to kind of uh, manipulate Samus a little bit. All right, right here. So. Oh, oh that's right. Are you kidding me? Nice. Let's go, Keku. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, so um, he's he's making it look easy. This yeah. is, but it's uh, not. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very very tough. Uh, I'm starting to not believe you, Keku. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. No, this is all super easy. Try it at home. Yeah. Yeah. Very impressive. Uh, oh. So that that skips a whole big loop. Uh, saves a ton of mm -hmm. time. It's the Adam skip, and um, Adam, quote unquote, we will not have to talk to uh, anymore. Yeah, just give him that cold shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> and he's uh, Adam's gonna be very mad at the end of the game. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. So much so that he fights you even. Like, why didn't you? Why didn't you pick up when I called? Yeah, you're already spoiling like, it, man. Like, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Sorry, chat. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry, kid. Okay, and basically the rest is just a little bit movement stuff, so I'm sure there's time for some donations. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, some donations would be good. Oh, thank you, everybody. We got ourselves $50 from Mind of Me. It says, Keku, Ooh. it's great to finally see you on the GDQ main stage playing Metroid Dread and staying cool because that's just how you roll. Oh, shucks. I wanted to <laughs> add a pun in here, but I ran out of ideas. Oh. Good luck on the run, and let's go to 2 million. We already did. Thank you so much, though. <laughs> We've also got my favorite pun here from Metroid Dread. $50 <laughs> from uh, Suit Anonymous saying, Metroid, I am bread. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, one of my favorite things about not getting more fall early was thinking, you know, that, that classic meme, why can't Metroid crawl? And then when I didn't pick up more fall early in this game, I thought to myself, why can't Metroid ball? Okay. Oh. All right. That's, uh, oof. All right. Uh -huh. I mean, I thought we're dad joking it, right? Yeah. I'm not even a dad. How? I, I guess that time. explains why I'm like pretty bad at that. <laughs> You're gonna have to recover from that one eventually. Yeah. Yeah. I need. I need. Yeah. Just boost me up. Give me some. Give me some stuff right now. To work with Keku. Nah. You can live with it for now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <this> guns. <laughs> Yeah, Get more elevator but, uh, time here, so yep. feel free for yep. donation. So, Notion, I'll try to think of some a song. Last night, I dun, had a dream dun, about dun, 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 Oh, there you go. There you go. We got ourselves $100 from Simply C saying, so excited to see that you completely blow our minds with this Metroid Dread speed run. Thank you so much. And the ampersand hype is still going on. Somehow, we got $50 from Dialus saying, what's an ampersand again? Don't worry, we're gonna get a response soon. I'm feeling pretty sure of it. Thank you so much. Is this the first time someone's been singing during the? I said, Donut? ooh. Oh, sorry. No, no, this is great. This is fantastic. Is it ke keku or karaoke? <laughs> <laughs> keku karaoke, it's both. <laughs> So nothing too special here, just a little bit of movement. I'm um, just going to turn on the power and grab a beam. Oh. All right, I'll do this uh, this way. Just yeah. hanging around. It's pretty much all you do here. You just, yeah, you think, know. Just a little item pick up and like, like I said, power, um, turning on the power. I do like how uh, vastly different the run kind of transforms as you pick up more uh, upgrades. Mm -hmm. right. Getting like you know the speed booster, it's gonna have you're gonna see like the coolest 
movement right yes, now. Yes, everything is very, very quick after you get the uh, the new items you pick up. Oh, oh, nice. Did I just dodge that guy? You did? Yeah, you did. Okay, then. Are you flexing on us? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I just like, oh, okay. It's because right. it's dark. That's why it's like it's really hard to see. Right, right. Yeah. I'll turn on the power here. Yeah, thank because you. Samus has a power suit. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> you're gonna fall for one, and you're gonna make some. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna make a dad joke. Yeah, I will have eventually. you make a dad joke. Yeah. All right. So just whack this guy. And Oop. the first beam, space wide beam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Basically, Spazer. Spazer. Oh, it's wide, yeah. It is wide. It, it, it is. So it's we got these, like, wide beam doors, and then uh, up, uh, pretty soon there's going to be a wide beam block. Right here, this one here. Yeah, there's a lot of these just blocking paths, so wide beam is pretty essential. Another pretty basic Emmy encounter here. I'm sure we can get some more donations in. Okie dokie. We got $50 from Chuggy G. It says Metroid Bread. Rising to the occasion. <laughs> oh, because Doe rises. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, you can do some work, by the way. Yeah, we also got $50 from Space Tart saying wanted to donate during my favorite game of 2021 and with the runner from Hawaii. Glad to see people also from my home on the big stage. Thank you so much, and mahalo. Oh, mahalo. And we do have an answer from that previous donation asking what an ampersand was. We have fifty dollars from Anonymous. Their comment simply reads, "Ampersand." Wow. Hope that was a satisfactory answer. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was. All right. So here, back in uh, Cataris, uh, we're gonna get that one Emmy that. Uh, had a very important item. But we're just gonna go through a couple of these blocks here. You're not allowed to say what the item is. No, I won't. Commentator. Maybe, yeah. maybe no. somebody else <laughs> no. can, but. I'm talking to the guy with the dad joke. The one the one that's spoiling everything. Oh, not yeah. me? What? No. No. No, no. Sefi here. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, here we go. I'm like tempted to spoil it. Though. Pretty basic fights. Um, these are fairly easy. Just mash missiles, and then you just mass, uh, mash beam afterwards. They get a little bit more difficult as you progress through the game. All right. Here the... Oh. So there's a, a little bit of a Emmy kill coming up to where Keku is going to try to get into position quick enough and destroy a, um, a, a blob, whatever they're called. And um, that will put this... Emmy in this specific position. There's two positions, top or bottom, and the way Keku navigated, the Emmy is on the bottom. And before Keku gets touched, he is going to kill the Emmy. Nice. <laughs> Should get an Emmy award for all this like exterminating uh, of uh, Emmys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Stand back. Sam is going to morb. And, uh -huh. okay, there's the morph ball. <laughs> Finally came up. Most games, it's pretty early on, but this game, they kind of broke tradition, like Keku was saying. Yeah. I know this is, might just be speculation, but I kind of think, like, they would have taken some sort of, like, I don't know, some feedback from randomizers. You know how randomizers switch up the traditional pickup? Uh, right, right. Yeah. They must have been watching your streams. Yeah. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I pick everything up in the wrong order, and right. <laughs> I'm so disorganized. So it's cool that uh, you can slide and then go into more. Oop. Get up there, please. Thank you. Yeah, it kind of goes even, a little faster, too, so... Did we even talk about the sliding? You know, as we can see, clearly they're sliding. <laughs> oh, There's a lot of movement, you know, yeah. in this game that's not in the other games. Um, so, yeah, basically you slide into, into the ball, and it has some other um, cool things you can do with it, like jumping off of ledges out of a slide so you can start falling. I believe it's called a coyote jump. I don't know for sure. But I like to call it slide jump, but slide I, jump, I, I, I think works too. coyote jump is the uh, official. We'll go with that then. Okay. Why Just not? a lot of quality of life improvements, I'd say, you know, yeah. make it, it's, you know, we're in like 2020 decade. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. like you don't have to like press down twice to try to morph or whatever. Yeah, just one it's button just, and it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Um, cool tricks coming up here. Um, he is going to be sequence breaking. Uh, oh, well, not quite yet. Yeah, not yeah. quite we're, yet. Uh, we're going to get Close. Varya suit. Yeah, Varya suit first. I'm getting ahead of myself. And I was spoiling? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. No one knows yet. All right, true. Varya first. Yes, Varya first. So he's just going to move through here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything, uh, you know, notable here if Donos need yeah. to be read. Hey, sounds good. We got $50 from Mito Make Soup. This is so excited for another year of GDQ. This GDQ started on my birthday. Happy birthday. And it feels like I've been able to celebrate all week. I'm so excited to see the debut of Metroid Dread and hopefully Super Mario 64 as well. Super Mario 64 ampersand 2 million hype. We have reached over $210,000 to unlock that bonus game. Everybody keep bearing down on that. Let's keep the little moving. Let's make some more GDQ for me and you. Let's do it. Woo! So basically, you just need a race to the top here, and Dread Mode is quite a bit more difficult. You need to be very careful. This is not, however, Dread Mode, so it's fairly easy, and this is Varia. Yeah. They should have, like, a DLC for Dread, just for the sake of, like, incentive for GDQ. It's just, you know, give us an incentive to either kill or save the animals. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that'd be uh, something, I suppose. We're going to skip that missile there? Yeah, more, more missiles, yeah, don't need them. So the room that I was in earlier, it was heated, but now that we have Varya suit, it is, it's fine. Is this what you were talking about? Like quality crisp runs? <laughs> like that heated? Are you... <laughs> like that's like beyond a dad joke. Like that's like a granddad joke. I need a hook and I'll pull you <laughs> off the stage. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's Varya heat resistant. Yes. Uh, so coming up, we're just going to go take a little detour. There's a couple of tricks along the way. And then... Uh, Oh, actually, we're going to go fight uh, Crate. Sorry. Fight Crate. Yeah. Of course, Crate. Yeah. Crate is a. Uh, and this one is uh, a mean one. Hey, but give it up for Crate at being absent for how long? And it's then make the same Crate. It's just the species. Yeah. But we still miss Crate. That yeah. big, lovable. It's no Crocomire, but. Yeah. Let's see? <laughs> We got Woo! one. We got one person. Well, come on. It, it has to be a room full of Kraid lovers. Uh, I think we need Crocomire. Back Crocomire? In the I next agree. game, Crocomire. I like Crocomire. Yeah. All right. So Nugget's going to uh, go past these guys. And then... Yeah, just some movement here. Just need to avoid taking too much damage. So everything does hit fairly hard. You want to keep some of that before Kraid. Okay. Here. Nice. All right, be nice, crate, please. Oh. Okay. Would you like to explain the crate fight while I do it? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a couple different phases. This first phase is uh, fairly simple. You just uh, blast when uh, crate's mouth is open and um, try to refill a little bit of missiles along the way through the... Um, oh, well, no missiles here, but um, Keku will also get some missiles back on this phase um, with... Um, these things that create shoot. Now, there's a technique you can do here to get to the top with Morph Ball. It's um, basically continuous wall jumps on the left side. Uh, pretty tough trick, but Keku also needed ammo. I'm um, going to get up here, stay up here, and uh, basically just farm ammo uh, and just keep blasting and do uh, create here until the fight is eventually done. Uh, you can skip the counter by firing and aiming left. For some reason, the counter uh, phase does not happen. You want to avoid that because that's half Woo! damage. So, very nice. That was like the worst dentist visit for Trade. <laughs> it's a lot to explain in that quick fight. So, um, yeah, basically you want to avoid the uh, counter phase that happens, the little cutscene, because that deals half damage to Kraid in most bosses. But it's so, also, yeah, it's, it's also for all the other bosses. You, you don't want to do the, uh, the counter animation. Right, right, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit slower. Except for one, which is the uh, final boss. Right. You'll probably notice uh, that Keku is firing very quickly with charge beam. Um, almost immediately after he just releases his previous charge. That's because there's a trick to where you can start charging up, and if you turn around and release shot, yeah. um, during the turnaround animation, it turns into an instant charge. So that um, allows Kaku to get um, pretty quick damage during some fights with charge beam. Yeah, it's almost spammable. It's like really, really effective. Yeah. 
Would you like to read a donation? I would love to. <laughs> the uh, dad jokes have been unleashed, Keck. You thank you so much for that. Oh, snap. We have $50 from Bobby Blackwolf saying, I'd leave a dad joke here, but I have no kids. I am a faux pas. <laughs> thank you, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Oop. All right, uh, trick coming up here. Um, Keku is going to be trying to navigate over a lava pit. Um, this seems like a very intentional sequence break that was put into the game yep. to, to allow you to get the grapple early. Um, he's going to do what we were talking about earlier, the slope or co coyote jump, uh, wall jump on the bottom of that to get up to this ledge, ledge grab. Um, he's going to do another... Uh, oh. oh, good recovery. Oh. Another slope jump there to get to that. And he needs to do that slope jump. Uh, he needs to do that slope jump uh, quite low. So Samus needs to drop um, a, a little bit so yeah. he doesn't hit his head too soon. Yeah, Very you don't nice want to wanna get that, that little bunny thing dirty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Keep it clean. And then the next part, uh, just going to grab gravel beam. It's not much going on, so you can just uh, read like, a couple of donations while I do that. Oh, thank you, Kaku. We got Bukash with $100. Ask you a question and say, would you see Metroid bread is Quality crisp. <laughs> Hashtag dad joke. Thank you so much. We've also got $100 from David N. in the form of a limerick. It says, our runner came from Hawaii. His hat is rather kawaii. <laughs> He's got to go fast. We're having a blast. So donate for this awesome guy. Oh shucks. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. You're very kawaii, Kaku. <laughs> I, I think that just should be stated. I don't think we've said that. I don't think you want to say it, though. Oh, I think you're too. So Keku just gonna... <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh, grapple Beam. Grapple Beam's uh, pretty interesting in this game compared to, uh, let's say, Super Metroid. Um, it's, it's got a long uh, range, and it comes up fairly quickly. Um, it allows you to grab onto these uh, the, the blue the walls. The blue walls, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it allows for some pretty cool movement in a lot of these rooms now that he has grapple. But the main use is those grapple blocks that we'll see along the way. Hey, Keku, do you know the Roach song by any chance? Buda -buda 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 -buda. Hey, there you go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how did that go again? I did that. Okay, nice. Excellent. And it sounds just like the Roach. It does? Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, so back in Dairon, uh, just going to take a quick detour. Um, oh, here pretty soon uh, after that, going to grab bombs. Yep, so just how he came in, he's going to be going back. He could take the top route. It's a little bit slower because you need to break grapple blocks, two of them, and you need to grab missiles. Since he doesn't need the missiles and we want to save a little bit of time, he, uh, he just takes that bottom route there. All right. Hi, Adam. Bye, Adam. He's going to be mad. Air, air quote, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully the Emmy will be nice. If not... It's cool movement uh, Keku can do there to avoid that uh, unfavorable Ooh. pattern. Yeah, that was actually bad positioning, but Keku yeah, that was the, just... Yeah, very good. Yeah, that was the worst spawn for that Emmy, but, you know, dodge it with the uh, Phantom Cloak. As long as you get out of the range, um, yeah. you can, uh, you know, turn that off and start running again. There we go. Turn the power back on. I think this is going to be one like one of my favorite segments here, actually. What around this whole segment? Yes, here? just around yeah. this segment, just because. I mean, look, there's like the little shadow of the hedgehogs to kill, and it's you know powered up. I don't yeah. know. And bombs. Yeah. Bombs. Do -do -do -do. That's how explosive this segment is and just, you know. It's the bomb. The segment is the bomb. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. oh did I make a joke? I yeah, didn't that was realize. A joke, yeah. Oh, it's good. Uh, it was kind of, never mind. It was on the fly, <laughs> but yeah. It blew up in my face. It blew back in my face. That's yeah. Dumb. So basically with, um, with bombs, you know, pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. It allows Keku to navigate through some of these uh, tunnels. Oh, look at We're that. not going to be seeing that guy here. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, he's taking a break. He's just getting tickled in the background, just like... Yeah, <laughs> he's not going anywhere.
All right, so there's not much going on until we go to the next section, which is uh, Berenia, uh, where we're gonna pick up a, a really nice item there. But go ahead and read like a, a few donations along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got $150 generously donated by Tanuki Monster. Oh, it says congrats on making it to SGDQ just for you. Here's a dad joke. <laughs> the past, the present, and the future walked into a bar. It was tense. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yes. Egregiously painful donation. I appreciate it. We also got $25 from Chibi Shala. Chibi Scala, oh. depending on how you pronounce that. It says, go Keku. Awesome to see you running on the GDQ stage. Cheer you want from the back home in the Aloha State. Thank Aloha. you so much. Mahalo. Tell him shoots. We also got Brian Hasty with $50 saying, Metroid, Mario, Metzod Son Frontier. Name a more iconic trio. I'll wait. So much. <laughs> All right, so Berenia. Uh, you want to explain Berenia? Yeah, sure. Um, it is basically where there is a pretty sweet item that we're going to be collecting. Um, definitely one of the coolest areas in the game, in my opinion. I love the the atmosphere, the ambiance. It's a very interesting area. Um, most of it, most of the lower half is filled with water. We're going to be uh, navigating to, like I said, a very important item for the speed game. Um, and when he gets to that point, he's going to be doing a very tough trick. Oh, Ooh, nice. nice. That was definitely intentional. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a pretty tough trick to avoid um, going through water and taking that loop around. So he's going to be using bombs to basically infinite bomb jump and do it in such a way to where he doesn't activate a, uh, a gate. So those gates that will close when you walk on them, he's going to try to avoid that coming up here. Oh. Hey, sorry. <laughs> You're good. Just a little pause button. There nice go. job. Excellent. Nice. I really like this item simply because it's something that's never be uh, seen before in a Metroid game. Uh, that you see in a lot of standard uh, Metroidvanias of today. Right, so this item is probably one of my favorite items in the game, other than maybe some of the tweaks they've done to Speed Booster in this. Um, but it's it's a very fun item. It has some really interesting properties with uh, ledges and how Samus interacts with them. And it's um, a very, very cool item. It kind of speaks volumes to how good they did with the game development as well. Um, a trick here coming up is a pause uh, pseudo shot where he's going to pause buffer uh, certain angles. Um, he has to have the angle and shoot or press R, one of those. Basically two inputs at the same exact time. So to make this a little bit easier, he's going to pause these to get the right angle. There, it is. there you go. Nice. Very nice. Those yeah, are very, very, very difficult shots. Yeah. Um, that just allows him to save a little bit of time. Time to listen to music again, Samus. Oh. What do you got on that playlist? You want me, you want me to sing a song about Aloha? I'm actually serious about it. You're serious about yeah. love too? Okay, go. A-L-O-H-A -A, A little aloha in our day Spread a little aloha around the world That's beautiful. Well, aloha means hello, and aloha means goodbye, and aloha means I love you, and I want to take it higher, I want to get high, with a little aloha, I can touch the sky, That's with a little aloha, <laughs> aloha. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kakker. You all need to donate for that. To meet I like Mario 64 instead of everybody. I like <laughs> when you said hi, your tone, also, like your, your pitch also went high. So He's it's like, getting up there, yeah. All right, so we got another enemy fight coming up soon. Uh, just gotta dodge, dodge this one and uh, get around really quick. Yeah, this enemy is um, it's a little bit sad how this one goes. You'll see coming up. Um, this is oh, um, it, casually one of the more difficult enemies to kill. Um, it's very quick and you have to have some precision in your aiming. But you'll see uh, what, what Keku will do here. And it's quite sad for the Emmy, really. Doesn't have much of a chance. Gotta get the good aim. Yeah, so far these Emmys had like no shot. 
a tub. It just, yeah. it just kills. Some of the later ones are pretty tough, but um, these these first few are fairly easy. And normally the hardest Emmy, because of how quick, has turned into this poor, sorry, robot. Yeah. Just like that. Very nice. All right. So we got the yellow Emmy's par, which will be... Something yellow, for sure. Speed booster. Speed booster, very nice. Yes. So right up, right up to this point, it's going to get super fun. Uh, this is where all the cool tricks come out. Um, would someone like to explain the, the cool mechanics for speed booster? Uh, yeah, I can try my best here. So uh, speed booster kind of takes some inspiration from fusion. Um, but it's also, like I said, uh, its own unique style. You can jump, you can wall jump and continue. You can, as you see, just oh. maintain uh, speed boost. That's okay, right there. You can, like in Fusion, um, if you've ever got the secret message, you can use slopes to maintain speed booster. So you can charge up and then um, basically just maintain it and then recharge and just infinitely do that. So if you do some of these rooms properly, you can just fly through them without losing Speed Booster ever. Um, speed Booster is only quicker if it's a longer area or multiple rooms like you see here. Flash Shift generally is quicker movement. So you kind of have to um, be smart about how you do some of these rooms. Generally, it's going to be Flash Shift. Longer rooms will be Speed Booster. Uh, you can read uh, like one or two donations. Absolutely. We yep. got ourselves $360 from the Keck crew. Oh. Saying aloha, SGDQ 2022, long time no see. Hyper work on behalf of the Keck crew here after all the years of grinding. The hard work is paid off, and we finally get to see Keku live on stage doing a run during SGDQ. Thank you. We, the Keck crew, appreciate that you've created such a welcoming, wonderful, and fun community. And we are so proud of seeing how far you've come in your speedrunning journey. Here is a slight token of appreciation from us as we pay it forward to a great cause. Yes, even Sashio boss took part. Oh. <laughs> we are all excited to see what the future holds. Thank you for just being you, Kaku. Oh, okay. Best of luck with the run. And don't forget to press the Y button. By the way, where's your dog gone? I can't oh. seem to find her anywhere. Okay, you. I got a dog joke, but in a bit. <laughs> After this boss fight. All right, here's the boss fight here. Got to be careful. If you want to... Yeah, so real quick, um, this, this boss can be oh. uh, defeated fairly quickly. You want to try to get the boss up to the top left and slide underneath and get Why? a Shine Spark. Uh, shine Spark will uh, kill this boss in two hits. Oh, oh got it. Oh, <laughs> got it, wow. Still, so one more to go. If you can see that, sorry, you know, the gelatinous bird in the back. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that bird on the back is uh, a story element of the game, if you'd like yeah, to see. Yeah, so if you're, when you're playing casually, you'll get a cutscene with, uh, with that guy. Yeah, the pigeon there, yes. We're going to be skipping these. And that's pretty much it. This is just a story uh, yeah. element area mm -hmm. at first. So. so that dog joke, right? All right. So did you see my dog? She went, oh, you can say this joke to anybody. Uh, don't be scared to say it to anybody you want. It's pretty silly. But uh, did you see my dog? She went that way. She's this tall. I mean, you see her, you grab her. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad at jokes. I didn't see. <laughs> and I just kind of want to see you do a stand-up set and see just how I'm yeah, going yeah. to How much you bomb. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to be, be terrible now. <laughs> All right, there's nothing, nothing much here. This is just a detour back to uh, um, Berenia, by the way. So you can read more donation. Hey, thank you, Keku. We got $240 from players A and B. Seeing this run is wild. Big props to Keku for making this run look so easy. Let's get that Mario 64 run. Here's a dollar per star from each of us. Thank you so much for that $240. Currently sitting over $216,000 out of the $300,000 required and making the big pace towards a big, big donation total for this event. Let's go, everybody. Let's keep it going. Yeah. We also have $50 from Stretch Dude. They say simply, be a crade. <laughs> be very a crade. Thank you. Thank you. You can read a couple more. 
Well, since we got a train ride, I'll go ahead and take care of singing duties. Mr. Game and Shout sent a $25 donation. Come on, crowd, let's get a rhythm here. Whoa, bad Amy, ampersand, whoa, bad Amy, ampersand, bad Amy gonna come, ampersand, gonna get you on the run, ampersand, kick is going really fast, ampersand, hope the run's a blast, ampersand, so whoa, whoa, bad Amy, ampersand, whoa, bad Amy, ampersand. Woo, thank you, Jim, <laughs> show. So $25. <sighs> back to you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're back to, uh, back to this aquarium, actually. Yes, <laughs> the aquarium. Yeah, so there's yeah. the, um, well, they're the boss here, but we're gonna, totally going to skip it. Yep, so basically that uh, story element of the game opened oh. this upper portion. Um, as you can see, some very cool movement with Speed Booster. These are kind of the uh, some of the things you can do. So, nice, job. very nice. And then we got a pseudo shot here, which is the, the Jory got skip. So the, like I said, they're the boss here, but I'm going to be skipping them. Oh. Some help. Generally, you have to go left and fight this water guy, but Oops. with the proper angle, nice, very nice. You can, uh, oh, oh, nice recovery. Yeah, flash it. Oh. All right. Now on to uh, Gavron. Yeah, this area, the second visit, has some of the hardest movement, I'd say. Yeah, same. It's uh, very, very tricky. That's when you have to bust out a lot of the tricks. And also category dependent. There's some other tricks. Um, there's also another, like, another boss here, similar to the uh, um, that. Well, I, I like to call him like Chozo. You said Chozo Warrior. That's a good name for him. I'm pretty sure they have an official name. But uh, here's another one coming up. Let's face it. We always make up our own names. Yeah, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. See, so like that. What are those? It's like little something. I don't know. Oh, we'll let you name them. Uh, I'm gonna name them right now. They're like. Uh, Make it more red dogs. I don't know. There you go. That's good. <laughs> it's quick. Oop. All right, get a charge to shine park here. And hit this guy. Yep, so it doesn't completely kill, but it definitely takes a lot of health off this mini boss. Nice. nice. Very nice. Because I, the reason why for the missile spamming is because uh, there's not enough room to do another shine park like the other one. Right, yep. Yeah. Some cool movement with uh, Grapple there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that is actually me. I have not seen it. Usually you use Grapple to go up, yeah. going downward. This game has some of the coolest movement out of any Metroid game I've seen. It's, it's really awesome what you can do. And there's so many different ways to do rooms as well. All right, going to pick up Super Missile soon. Super Missile? But this isn't Super Metroid, so what? Oh, wouldn't it be Dread Missiles? Yes, Dread <laughs> Missiles acquired, yeah. <laughs> they fire a little bit slower, but uh, yeah. still good, do good damage. And it is similar to Fusion in the way that it just replaces the missiles. Now you're required to use Super Missiles whenever you are depleting your missiles. Yeah, so like that door right there, that's the Super Missile door. Uh, the next part, we're going to we're going to another area called uh, Elon. Mm. Not not the uh, that guy that owns Tesla. You're gonna be causing some trouble here, and yeah. we've seen a horde of you know parasites. But it's just that's the name, see Elon. Elon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, well, while this goes on, we can read a couple more donations. Hey, thank you, Keku. We got three hundred and sixty dollars. From Miss Show You. Oh. <laughs> Saying aloha, SGDQ from Hawaii. My wife. Miss Show You and the Mini Show Yous are here to match Cat Crew's donation. We are dreading the days you are away from home, but it's finally here. Being on stage at the GDQ has been on your bucket list since the day we initially spoke about you starting a stream. Appreciating and supporting you as you grind 690 week was dreading. But seeing where you are now is one of my biggest joys. The minis and I are so proud of you for creating a welcoming and wholesome community with some of the most supportive and hilarious viewers. The minis hope everyone watching SGDQ enjoys Daddy's speedrun. Since Keku doesn't have a dad bod, oh. it's a father figure. <laughs> oh my Keku gosh. Keku should know that because when it's a dad joke, it's a parent. 
Thank you, Michelle. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Tech, tech is a great, fantastic yeah. person. Thank you. I love you. They must really miss you at home and all their and all your like dad jokes like on yeah, the hour. They're missing it, I'm sure. Yeah, you, you probably call them to the family room and it's like, oh, <laughs> dad joke time. Bring it in, everyone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so here we are with plasma beam. Pretty powerful beam. Yeah, so it shoots through enemies, which is very nice. It helps out with uh, a lot of enemies coming up soon. And I'm gonna try to speed booster trick here. So these are the kinds oh, of there. things. Almost got it, but these are the kinds of things you can you can do. Kind of just mix and match. Really, a lot of the speed tech to um, to open doors when you maintain your momentum. Um, Keku is going to be mashing here. Uh, mashing is the fastest way to destroy most bosses. Um, makes really quick work of the first phase. Cool little animation. Yep, and to end her off. Very nice. Let's finish it. So yeah, these, these bosses really, they're just kind of sponges. You just mash away and they die fairly quickly. Go. That's the uh, yeah, known the as the crash. And it shoots through the door. Oh, nice, nice. The crash bridge. I wonder if they fixed that. <laughs> also, I want to address something really quickly. Uh, just because you might see Otani on our phone. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, I. We're not being disrespectful. Yeah, <laughs> we're texting all. our friends. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, no. yeah. We have some notes. There's so many things going on in this game. It's um, it's quite Is a bit. We're trying to keep up. I, a little bit behind sometimes, but there's there's a lot to go yeah. over. It's a very intricate. And I appreciate you too. Thank you. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, Thank you yeah. for having us. Uh, let me text you back, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do, you, what do you want for dinner? I'm oh, yeah. Uh, if you want dessert, <laughs> let me order it. It's on me. Oh, I forgot about this cutscene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, so we're back here at Gavron. Uh, that blue Emmy that we passed is now active. And then um, I'm going to pick up a few things, I think. Hopefully, that's how the speed booster. Yeah, I love oh, the tech nice. It's, it's so awesome. You can just fly through everything. Oh, never mind. And it's, uh, it's, it's fairly tricky as well. Um, it's, it's easy to get into, but it's very tricky to optimize all these little tricks and all the speed tech and everything that you're seeing. Yeah. Do you want to explain the uh, water bomb jump, by the way, that's coming up? Yep. So basically, um, the bomb jump is when you, when you bomb on the floor um, underwater and you are propelled upwards on morph before you touch the ground, if you jump, bomb again in the air, you get more height out of the water bomb jump. I'm not exactly sure how it works from a you know technical standpoint, but that's kind of the gist of it. I'm going to be charging a Shine Spark here. It's going to instantly remove the shell from this, the units, and then Keck will just mash to finish the fight. Yeah, so no more missiles. Uh, Plasma just does all the work. Spamming is just the way yeah, to go. So. Missiles are a little bit utilized, but yeah. generally a lot of these bosses can just take um, spamming from your shots. All right. Pretty sure chat is familiar with spamming. Right, yeah. chat? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Going to position himself on the right side, so the blue Emmy will go on the ceiling here like this. A couple of different ways to do this fight. Very nice. Another Emmy down. Yeah, very nice. By the way, uh, every single time that you're landing shots on an Emmy, it's you slow down its movement. Yes. I, it, right. Just to not be, you know, to not confuse people, it's like, why is it crawling so slowly to kill Samus? You it's know? very important when you're doing these runs to try to lock on as quick as you can, or else the Emmy can start really just cruising past, and it's it's tough to get the right angle again. Especially down right there, because it's like turning around everything. So yeah, you gotta memorize your angles when you uh, do this. Right, right. So we got ice missiles. See if we can uh, freeze things. And uh, um, coming up, we're going to do a sequence break. So we're going to get a uh, space jump. Yep. A couple different ways to get this. Oh, oh okay. Oh, Let me through. Ah! Okay, this, this guy's being a bully. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's because that guy's lonely. You know, it's like the only enemy in the room, and it's, it's so enclosed. So yeah, this this, tr this trick right here, which we call the... Uh, um, the early pseudo uh, space jump shot. And uh, um, I was also playing that like, I just need to shoot at a specific angle and uh, uh, morph. So that when the morph, what it does, it pushes the shot through the wall or, or through the floor and hit this enemy. Uh, I need to get a perfect timing as well. 
and it's a uh, it's pretty tough trick when you first start out, but then like once you know the angle and the timing, it, is, it isn't so bad. Yeah, like Keku said, a couple things going on. Basically, the angle. Um, he, he's going to be doing a setup with melee to get his cannon into the ground, and then um, the second Ooh. part is the timing. So, there's a specific cue that he wants to look for. Yep, there is a cue he'll be watching. I'm not sure what cue Keku uses here. Yeah. It's an enemy. Nice. First try. Oh. Really, really good job. Yeah. That can you, really spiral out of control if you don't get that right away. There's just very tiny movements from that enemy that Keku yeah. is watching for. You, yeah, you can get stuck there for a bit, but thankfully, yeah. you know, obviously it's Keku speed running this game. Like yeah. you expect. It's going to be sub, <laughs> sub one hour oh, and ten minutes. Oh, yeah. shucks. You, you stopped that. <laughs> so here we got Space Jump. Okay, I have to address it. The names. I love the names. They're like so just like a parent space jump. What do you think that lets you do? Jump in space. Yeah, jump in space. Ice missiles, what do you think those do? <laughs> um, uh, 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 missiles, ice. Yeah, yeah with ice, yeah. Do, yeah. <laughs> flash shift? Uh, you shift in You shift flash. in a flash. Not, yeah. Whoa. It's like, crazy. <laughs> I know. Okay, it's better than Metroid Prime 2 with this naming. All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Boost Ball Guardian. I feel like sometimes we get our naming for strats from like the Metroid developers, because what did you just call that one strat? Like we're working on the strat names, by the way. So <laughs> if anyone wants to help out, we're influenced. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna take a detour uh, to head to get to uh, Screw Attack and back in Artaria. So you can read like a couple of donations, like for for I think. Hey, I do appreciate it. We got a hundred dollars from uh, Blabadil. Says Aloha Keku. Congrats on making it to your first GDQ. We need more. Your soul is mine. It's gonna on come these up. Emmys. Also, uh, sing Rick Astley on the elevator. So the next elevator. Rick Astley? Okay. Yeah, That's all right, all got you. it. Got Moxie Kaji with $100 saying, loving the Dread Run. Let's keep the games coming. Gotta go fast and get that Super Mario 64 on lot. Currently sitting at $218,000 out of the $300,000. Let's keep it going, everybody. Let's do it. And these dad jokes are going into other games now. Holy macaroni. Fuzzy. <laughs> with a $25 donation, says, Dono goes to Super Mario 64, my favorite level, shifting ampersand nice. land. Okay, I'm gonna just do it while you're reading. <laughs> no, because I'm vibing to, I'm being rickrolled live on the host desk. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Keep going. <laughs> that was the plan. Yeah. We're no strangers to love. This is a copyright problem. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> We're no strangers to super. Uh, no, it's, it's not. Super Dread. Yeah, yeah. Super Dread Troid. <laughs> Very nice, guy. You know oh, the oh, sorry. I can't help it. All right, so we got a couple of cool movement tricks coming up. And then we're going to pick up a uh, screw attack. So, yeah. <laughs> the you want to explain the, awesome. the oh couple of tricks coming up? Um, the one trick coming up. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, that one. So we know. got a water, water bomb jump, but then we got this uh, screw attack, uh, space jump uh, mechanic that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, the one that's underwater. So. Right, right, right. Yep. So basically, Keku's going to try to um, position himself with space jump to where he can kind of pop above the water. Um, you'll you'll kind of see he's he's hovering above the water in such a way. And then when he has the right position, it will kind of pop him up a little bit above that. So when he starts his space jump, he can space jump at that height. So as long as he starts his space jump at the height that he's jumping off this ledge, he can maintain that and then try to use some trickery to get to the top of this ledge. Uh, please send me up there. Okay. Oh, okay. Only we're called water jump. Wow. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of tricky time. It is. It's very easy to mess this up. It's a little bit higher, and he's gonna get go. that nice, very nice. And then I have to do that again, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. You're gonna nail it the second time. All right. So we got another water bomb jump. There it is. Screw attack. All right. Screw attack. Screw Attack, as you will see, is a very utilized 
uh, well, basically just a weapon. It's, it's very powerful, um, and he'll be using it to make some quick work of some bosses. I actually do like that it, you know, affects, oh, that's a really quick bomb jump out of that. All right, so one more time. Who wants an encore? Yep, go. same trick. Yeah, at that time, very nice. All right, we got another pseudo shot here. This one's pretty cool. Gotta, oh, gotta yep. position myself right. Very nice. Good job. A lot of those shots are, you know, just really position yourself just right and, um, yeah, they'll generally work. It's it's sometimes a little finicky. Ooh. All right. So uh, next item to grab is gravity. So there's another detour through uh, Cataris. Uh, from Cataris, go to Gavran and then uh, to Perennia. So not much to explain. So you, if you want to read some donation, go for it. <laughs> Absolutely. We got $50 from uh, Fayetten. Fighten, Fighten, F I E T E N, saying, Not only did Metroid get me into speedrunning, that series got me into video games in the first place. Wonderful event, wonderful runners, wonderful staff, cute chat, ay, 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 here together, less than three. Thank you so much. Let's do it. We can do it. We've also got Long Neck Turtle with $100, saying, oh. It's so great to see Keku show off this run and to see Seppi on commentary. Good luck <laughs> on the run. Thank you, Long. Uh, they mentioned cute chat. A cute chat. Is that is that your chat? Oh, no, no. Sounds no, like no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> Far from it. <laughs> They're all cute. You can read it like two more. Sounds good. We got ourselves a couple of dad jokes here. We got an anonymous two hundred fifty dollar donation saying, nice. "What do you call Samus on a toboggan?" Oh, Metroid sled. <laughs> Ouch! I love it. Don't it stop. Hurts. I didn't say stop. <laughs> we also got T-Suit with $100 saying donations during Metroid Bread. Why not? <laughs> it's the yeast. Oh, <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, you guys are great with those. There's awesome. probably going to be a bunch of ROM hacks or something named, you know, Metroid Bread, yeah. Sled. <laughs> Every item is going to be bread. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's got to feed the uh, quiet rope with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why Crate is so hungry. <laughs> All the bread's gone. All right, um, after this, we're going to go, like I said, going to Berenia. One of my favorite uh, Shark Park puzzles. So when you're playing this casually, it's a, it, it may take you a while to figure it out. But uh, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, this Shine Spark puzzle really teaches you uh, how to utilize Speed Booster, really. Um, and it kind of teaches you the slopes and when you can use it in, in the air. And it's a really, really neat puzzle. You still rippling? Sorry. <laughs> Just can't get out of your head, huh? <laughs> I mean, there's one song I would like to hum before the game ends. I'm not going to spoil it till I get there. Okay, here we go. Start charging. Very nice. Incredible. Yeah. That looks quick and easy, but it's it's one of the harder uh, speed booster puzzles. Not for Keku. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, it's because it's the dad. That's what happens when you become a dad. <laughs> you get empowered. It's because you have family. To, you're like you know you're like Vin Diesel. It's just all <laughs> oh about family. God. Just all about family. You know the the, the number number ten movie of oh, the Fast and Furious movie. Fast 10, your seatbelts. Safety first. <laughs> All right, so we got gravity suit right here, which I think is the best gravity suit design. Well, well hopefully you guys will get to see it. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, well, you'll see it when, uh, when I get to the, um, to the teleporter coming up soon. I do like what they did in Dread is they gave her a lot of personality and attitude without even having to say much at all. Exactly. Like it's, yeah. a, it's a huge like difference from what we've seen before, but it really pops off this time. Right, yeah, right. Sure. All right, we got another boss fight here. Uh, but the trick is, um, the, the trick that I'm going to try to do is uh, keep them on the, the top platform here. 
the fastest strat here is to, like he said, keep them up top and then just mash because Plasma will go through both of them. Um, what he can do is use Screw Attack if it go. comes up, but very nice. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't even let you explain it. Yeah, uh, Screw Attack does a lot of damage, so another way to kill those is to just basically keep hopping into it with Screw Attack yeah. if you have the health. So right here, coming up, is another boss, which I explained in the, with J-Hops, the uh, Gozuna. Um, I'm going to focus I'm gonna focus on the fight, and then uh, Oz can explain what, what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, this is a tough fight, um, casually as well. It's a very hard-hitting boss. Um, Keku doesn't have a lot of health or E-Tanks, so he's going to be kind of timing everything with the X Parasite's movement, um, when to start his Shine Sparks or charging it and running. Um, if he times it just right, he should be able to instantly kill the second phase. And the third phase, there's a pretty cool little setup to use. Um, he uses the iframes from taking damage, and he will use those to have just enough room to get a charge for a Shine Spark once again. All right, here we go. Very nice. In good job. Incredible. That was really, really good. That's a lot of really tight timing. Now do it blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> that was impressive enough. That was, no, that, that actually was... Uh, it's, it's really hard. It is, yeah. I mean, but when you figure out the timing, it, yeah, just all you have to do is try to figure out the timing for yourself. and then it's, You, you just have to do it right, is what Kaku said. Just do it right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so cross bombs, it's kind of a kind of a weird item. It's a little bit finicky sometimes, but it is utilized on cool. um, some bosses even that we'll be seeing coming up. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to take a detour here to Hanubia. You can see Samus' ship in the map. That's where Samus is trying to get to, but Samus is like, I gotta do other things first. Yeah. On that grocery list. Did you just call me a noob, by the way? Hanubia. So you laugh. You put a ha in front. Okay. I get it. Uh, but right here, not too much going on, so we can get some donations in. Love to hear it. We got $25 from Onyx of Octavia. Their comment reads, Metroid Dread, SGDQ, puns, donations for a good cause. Yes, please. Let's push for that Super Mario 64 run, y'all. Good luck to all the runners less than three. Thank you. We also have Ruination coming in with a very generous $25 as well. Saying I was trying to come up with a good Metroid pun, but they were all dreadful. <laughs> I guess I'm not in my prime anymore. Well, maybe someone can help him out with that with some prime gaming. Oh. Oh. Uh, real quick, if you'd noticed that um, Grapple Block, he hit it from the backside of where you're, you're normally supposed to hit it from the left, and he was uh, behind there. He slides into the wall, and that pushes Samus a little bit into her, uh, the wall with her arm cannon. And if he times it just right, he can actually shoot the grapple block from the other side. So yeah. he's cheating, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Way to expose him like that. Cotton 4K. Yeah. yeah. So we got in this area, there's like three bosses coming up. It's pretty nuts. So uh, I may not talk as much. In my opinion, it's one of the more difficult bosses casually. Yeah, and plus this area too, um, want to make a note. Um, once you grab Gravity Suit, a lot of the bosses will hit you super hard. So want to try and manage your health very carefully. He's going to try to navigate around the purple Emmy here. Yep. Oh, he's not there. Nice. Perfect. Sometimes that Emmy can spawn on the top side, and Keku will have to do some weird kind of movement manipulation to time it just right. Oh, get up there, please. Okay. All right, we got SQ coming up soon. This boss fight isn't so bad, though. All right, here we go. He's going to be charging a Shine Spark um, before he enters. Um, with these rooms, 
there's not enough space and they're designed in such a way to where you can't get Shine Spark. Oh, oh, oh well, that's fine. At least I got the Shine Spark off. So. Yep. But Screw Attack can make it so much easier. He was going to try to go for a two round there, but three rounds still fairly quick. Very nice job. Thank you. Storm Missile is really cool, by the way. So um, what it does, you charge your missile, which is the R button, and then you can target up to 10, like, 10 targets. Uh, then when you release this charge, you can shoot three missiles each per target. So here's a sample right here coming up with this uh, Storm Missile block here. That got another That's a one pretty cool off. trick, or a uh, pretty cool item. Cool. Yeah, it's cool to see that implemented in a, a quote-unquote 2D Metroid, because you see that in Prime 2. Right. Yep. There we go. Nice. And here's another boss fight coming up. Kind of the same concept as before. Oh. He damaged the golden one, which has more HP with the Shine Spark and trying to shoot through with Plasma to hit them both, and still very, very quick fight. All right. Coming up soon is the Purple Emmy, by the way. So I just got to navigate my way through. Uh, once I get there, I'm going to call for some uh, quiet time. Cool. Yeah, yeah just a, lot of, a lot of movements here, but not too bad. Probably get donations in right now. Yeah, it's probably just one right yeah. now. Yeah, let's get a quick one. And Sarah Angel with twenty dollars says, "Hey Keku, thanks for doing how we proud and for a good cause." Thank you so cool. much. So Keku will be destroying this uh, row unit, and with a shine spark and a screw attack, it's a very very quick fight. Um, afterwards, he is going to be attempting a, a fairly difficult setup for the purple Emmy. Yeah. Um, which is the quickest strat. It's very risky, but it looks it's satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really cool when you do it just right. Okay. All right, quiet time. All right, here we go. Amazing, that was... Good job, that's hard. How long did you stop breathing out? <laughs> I just started. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what'd you say? <gasps> Sepio. I just woke up. Even, even in all my runs, that still scares me. <laughs> yeah, right, like, so we're, like we're saying with um, a wave beam as wave well. Beam high, wave beam high, wave to the camera. <laughs> yeah. Um, with with a lot of these setups with the Emmys, you have to make sure that you're not missing, or else uh, their speed will increase. So I can chill a little bit here uh, before the uh, last few bosses, but uh, yeah, the wave can um, shoot through walls, so you can see like a little tutorial coming out. That's what's neat about the uh, Metroid game; they like force you to like learn about the weapon that you have. All right, back to Hanubia. Uh, I've got two more bosses and then the final boss. And then, uh, yeah. Probably gonna get one donation in right now. All right. While I hum I, this song. I got a, I got a, I got a weapons grade pun here. It's horrible, I love it. Got Jimmy Ray-Benz with $25 saying, how can it be Metroid bread if the game doesn't even have mother grain? <laughs> hard, that was terrible. Hard facts. <laughs> I like that it was a like a like a mother brain joke, and you know, in the form of a dad joke. So it's like for the family. <laughs> Oops. Okay. All right, we got another boss here. Um, 
Unfortunately, this enemy does not get its chance to shine. But we got this guy here. Yeah, that whole cutscene is basically just, uh, you know, uh, the, the robot basically, the enemy just kind of passing out, and then this is what you have to fight next. Watch out. Oh, by the way, Samus is discovering her Metroid powers now. But it's like, your soul is mine. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what the whole cutscene that Keku skipped was, kind of discovering her powers. Nice. One time I asked, like, I wonder how this fight would have gone, you know, with the power bomb and stuff. Oh well. Yeah, we'll never know. Oh. And the rough drafts. See, look at the suit. Doesn't it look so nice, by the way? That is a cool suit. Yeah. And here's power bomb. <laughs> One interesting thing about power bombs is you can collect power bomb pickups throughout the game. However, it's an unknown item. So until you go through this whole scene, you cannot actually use that item. This is a really neat animation for power bombs. How it just kind of yeah, it's, it's a massive explosion. Okay, like the more power bomb. Yeah. Oops. All right, we got the another boss. This is the the golden version of the one I just fought. This guy hits like a really, really big truck. Like the Kirby uh, <laughs> and the Forgotten Land truck. Yeah, it's a very hard hitting boss. Oh, okay. Oh, oh that's okay. okay. That's okay. Oh. These Chozo warriors must hate you. You just you just keep taking them <laughs> out. Like very nice. All right, one final section here. Before I before we get to the final boss, I'd like to say I enjoyed our time here. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Kagro. Yeah, thank you. And then uh, it's the it's the final countdown. You have Sam is just chilling, watching prime time TV. He's listening to the music. Yeah. Nice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sick solo. Uh, some cool movement here. Uh, basically, just keep your shot or your uh, speed boost all the way up top. Ooh! Oh, I didn't. Oh, almost. It. I thought you got it. All right. So, final elevator before the the final boss. <sighs> okay. So, the final boss. The spoilers. You're gonna find out who Adam was here. So, don't look. You know, if you don't want to be too spoiled. Um, so the first phase here, um, Keku is going to be attempting to skip the gold phase, which is just after this initial phase. Um, he's going to do a setup with uh, storm missiles, I believe, correct? Yep. Yep, storm missiles. And then he's going to mash. If you mash at, um, I don't know if it's 15. Oh, I made it. Nice. Very oh good job. Gosh, that was really good. <laughs> Not sure what the uh, mashing speed is for oh. that, but if you mash at 15 hertz, you can skip this phase. Um, second phase, Keku is going to try to keep Ravenbeak on the left side of the screen, so it'll avoid a stomping attack. And it kind of is just really easy to get a lot of uh, DPS in. Uh, ice missiles do a lot of damage. One reason Keku's not going to be using his uh, shot or mashing, which is generally fastest, is because this fight uh, greatly reduces the damage done to Ravenbeak with those beams. That's the second phase, very nice. Uh, third phase, he's going to be looking for a counterattack. Over here. He's going to get one right away. Yes. Um, it allows him to spam ice missiles, which is the most damage. 
and basically just get a lot of hits in at first, replenishes health and missiles. And then unless he gets another one right away, the rest of the fight is going to be basically just trying to hit his ice missile attacks and also be he will be using cross bombs when he can Ooh. cross bombs deal a decent amount of damage. I could just tank this damage right here, so it's not too bad. He's pretty much dead soon. Yeah. There we go. Just but he's not counter. done yet though. Okay. Very nice. How's that for a finish, huh? Yeah. Casually, that boss is like almost impossible. Okay? Yeah, it's, it's hard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard. Now we come up on what a lot of people don't realize is Kraid. Yeah, I just want to show this off really quick. This is the Metro suit, and it's pretty cool. But Sam is going to be firing her laser soon. Make sure you press the white button, by the way. So basically with this, um, you kind of just charge your shots. Um, Kekka's going to be waiting for the steps because the closer that Kraid and Raven Beak gets, um, the faster this whole phase can go through. Kraven Beak Experiment X57, <laughs> I don't know. I wonder how Kraid even got to this point. I, yeah, right? <laughs> All right, and now the escape. Uh-oh, that timer, Keku. No pressure. It's fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm saying that for myself. Bro. Oh, okay, okay. Sweating okay. back here. Don't be scared, Sefi. Don't be scared. You guys ever wonder why does every planet that Samus is at, it starts to blow up? I've just tried to forget about it now. Yeah, at this point, it's just... Oh, oh, it's very okay. destructive. All right, I'm going to try this b booster trick coming soon. Uh, it's pretty neat, uh, but if I don't get it, it's not that bad. It saves a tiny bit of time. Yeah, it's just really cool how it looks. Finish that with a bang. Oh. Wait, one more time, one more time. You got this. Okay, never mind. You, <laughs> you almost had it. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Basically, we was just trying to keep the spark all the way through this area until this next shine spark coming up in the next Yeah. Run. You can, if you jump, um, you can avoid that whole cutscene, saving a little bit of RTA. Oh, and uh, time coming up soon, by the way. Okay. Oop. Time. Very nice. Good game, Katsu. Thank you. Thank you. What, what was my time? Your GDQ time is one hour. 20 minutes, 33 seconds. Ooh. Very nice. Good job, Decker. Great. Thank you. Oh, and then uh, whenever Adam goes, don't, you drain the energy of the ship, I'm like, Adam, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> You're not my father. This guy's a little creepy. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to diss him like that? Uh, <laughs> so uh, the Metroid Dread boss rush got it, incentive got met, right? Indeed it did, but $50,000 raised. Everybody set all them bosses up. Keku, it's time to knock them down. I, I guess I will. <laughs> so we just watch this animation really quick. And like I said, why does Samus blow up every planet? <laughs> if only we knew. There she goes, blasting off into space. Hey, you not going to cheer for that explosive ending. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, go prepare your run, go. All right, so uh, really quick about this ending thing here. I can't really skip it, but uh, uh, it's just going to show you your end game time, which uh, I think it, me it doesn't measure the cutscenes, or it kind of does, I guess. But then there's this other time, which is the total play time. So I don't know. but. Yeah, at least I didn't die, so that's nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take solace in that. You didn't die, made it through, yep. you blew up a planet. Like, that's standard Metroid. Okay. All right, let me just quick a, take a quick water break here really quick. Everyone hydrate up. You're going you're gonna to want to <clears throat> prepare yourself for this. Okay. So, I mean, I'm gonna, I'll try to uh, beat all the bosses without dying. But basically, the boss rush is just you're just battling through 12 bosses without stopping. Um, as you can see there, it says energy is not restored between battles, but you can get health drops through each boss. Uh, the weapon ammo will be fully restored, so it's really neat against uh, 
the next boss coming up, uh, the next boss in the in the in line. Um, two bosses that you'll see here that you didn't see in the run is uh, Droiga and Experiment X57, which uh, which is one of my favorite fights because uh, there's the ending to it that's really cool. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, oh yeah, five, four, three, three two, two one. one, go. Good luck. Good luck. All right, so if you look right there, I have 29 missiles against Corpius. I can use all those missiles uh, during the second phase. Oh. Okay. If, if I stop missing. <laughs> I mean, they're called missiles. <laughs> I mean, it starts with the word miss. Oh. All right, so I have to go to the third phase, but it's not too bad. And then there's Corpius done. So right. deja vu. Round one down. Okay, we got Kraid here. Same thing like before. I really like how this feels like we're reliving our best moments. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is that yeah. one time I killed Kraid. Oh, Kraid, nice. Nice job. Nice. Behave, Craig. He should be done soon. There we go. There we go. Right, Round so two down. Yep, nice so we got job. this uh, central unit here. Not too bad. All I have to do is spam missile. That was, that's a quick one, so it's not too bad. You don't have to clap for that, by the way. <laughs> well, I want to anyway. Come on, how are we not going to clap <laughs> right, for so we got boss? <laughs> so we got Droiga here. So yeah, as you can see, um, so you see there's a weak point up there. He's uh, sucking up the energy to this room. Okay. Activate the elevator here, or drain the water, and then... There we go. All right, so we got another phase of that. You're gonna drain the water again. Oh, drain the electricity and get the water again. So go up here. You can see also uh, Keku making use of that quick charge shot yeah. by turning around and just shooting it immediately. Oh. <sighs> okay. Whew. Just in time. Uh, yeah. There is a timer on that, so. And Drago done. All right. Uh, the Robo Chozo, Robo, Robo Chozo Soldier. Uh, so there's not much here. I just gotta keep trying missiles, uh, avoid his attacks and stuff. Cause I didn't, I don't have the speed booster like I did in the the, the run. Mm -hmm. So I want to be a little extra careful. Oop. That's okay. So some distance. I could have I could have melee that, but it's okay. Yeah, I'd rather play it safe. Bust down. Okay. All right, SQ is the harder one of this lineup. So again, I don't I can't charge the shine spark, so I'm gonna have to shoot some uh, charge beam and ice missiles. Oh, Darn. Yeah. Yeah, see, SQ is pretty hard. But it's okay. That's why in the run you just quick kill. Okay, it's fine. Try again.
Nice. All right, just one oh. easy quick phase. Okay, I just gotta kill him with ice missiles here. I used a charge shot to uh, try to get double shot here, but it's okay. Oh, there. Okay. Where's the front? Good job. All right. Oh. All right. XZ57. This is a really cool fight at the end. And in, uh, with this, I have the storm missiles as well, so it makes it a little quicker. This boss is actually a, a standout when you're playing casually. It's a shame we don't see it in the speedrun. Here we go. All right. Now we're going to let him do this weird attack where it, all the beams just come out of the, the fans. Uh, then I'm going to charge the Shine Park after a certain amount. Two, three, four, five. Here we go. Nice. Nice job. All right, so... <laughs> This is the same fight as before, just gotta spam the mash. I like how many times you fight these robos. I know, right? It's like, oh, I got my sibling to back me up this time. You stand no chance. Okay. And, and they stand no chance, so good job. Golden again. Alright, so we got Star Missiles again, unlike the game. Unlike the run, I mean. Oh, I, I almost got the starting part. Oh. Okay. Oh. That shine part is so tight. It is. Especially because you have to take a hit from it, right? So yeah. you don't, you don't want to take damage. Uh, Blast oh, okay. Ah, oh. uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, right, let's try and come over here. There we go. Oh, oh I want to okay. pick that up. All right, you got this. You got the chosen warrior again, the the gold one. Oh, I missed the missile. Another animation kill. Let's yep. go. All right, so this one here, you can charge a shine park on it, but it's pretty tough. So I'm gonna use some ice missiles on this guy. All right, and done. Okay, now we got Raven Beak. Do the same thing as I did in the in the run. Uh, I can take a lot of damage because um, I have a lot more health this time and missiles too. So get away. Hey, okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, I missed it. Oh god. Oh yes. It's okay. So you guys gotta wait for this. Uh, not too bad, but just gotta. Please. Waiting for it to run out. Okay. Okay. Same thing like First before. Phase.
on the edge of my seat, Keku. Almost there. Uh, almost there. There we go. Last phase. Power bomb to destroy that spirit bomb. I need some health, so that's why I did that. I can take I can take the da uh, damage here. There you go. go. And... Done. GG. Congrats, Woo. Kaku, on showing that. All right. So that was uh, Metro Dread, the any percent run, and uh, no, major, no any percent, no major glitches, and the boss rush. Uh, I hope that some of you are intrigued to run Metro Dread. Thank you so much for having me here. I'd like to shout out the, uh, the Dread community for all the, th the work they've done. GDQ, thank you for having me here. My commentator, oh, oh. Oh, where are you? Okay, now he's preparing for his next run. Sefi, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you all for at least participating in my uh, knock knock joke. My son would, I, I'm pretty sure he loved it. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for having me. And you guys all take care. Bye. Wow, what an incredible run of Metroid Dread. Give it up for Keku one more time, everybody. Steffi Oates, both of you commanding a very adorable couch. Ah, yeah, yeah, thank you so much. We have got ourselves one donation here for $25 from A Restless, saying simply, I love me some Metroid Dad. Aww. Super wholesome pun. Not, not egregious at all. I appreciate it. We have more speedrunning action coming up in just a little bit when we return from these messages. So do not touch that browser tab. SGDQ 2022 will be right back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2022. Raising money in support of Medicine Sans Frontier. Nearly $2.05 million. Sky's the limit, everybody. Let's keep it going. 
More love for that Metroid Dread run coming in. $120 from Dave Master says, amazing Metroid run. Kudos to Kekka Manchuria, donating $1. In each star for one of my favorite games, Mario 64. Let's get this bonus game. Let's keep GDQ live. We are less than $70,000 away to get that incentive met. Everybody, keep on pushing. We got plenty of marathon. Let's end this super strong. And now, some words from our sponsors. SGDQ 2022 is proudly sponsored by DX Racer, the USA's number one gaming chair brand. Exporting to over 50 countries around the world, they are a global influencer of the esports market with over six, fill, 6 million users worldwide. Check out their selection of amazing chairs accommodating all sizes and styles at www.dxracer.com. Frame Fatales is Games Done Quick's all-women community that aims to spotlight women in speed running. The next Fatales charity event, Flame Fatales, is running from August 21st to the 27th, featuring over 70 hours of speed runs and showcases of various game genres. And once again, they benefit the Malala Fund typically, so you're in for an incredible time in watching their events and helping out a fantastic cause, and their staff is some of the best people on the planet like your next host. If you're a woman interested in joining the FF community, DM Frame Fatales at Frame Fatales on Twitter. For more information about Frame Fatales, go to gamesdonequick.com slash Frame Fatales. The Metroid fun continues. Oats and Goats is setting up for Kaizo Super Metroid. Everybody gets super hyped for that. Here. No, you need a little help. We have $800 donated by a non-E mouse. I, okay, I see what you did there. The comment reads, cute run, cute marathon, cute chat. Thank you so much. ay 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 All right, every people, that is it for me for this event. Everybody's cheering that I'm leaving. I love to hear it. <laughs> but even though Iggy's going to be gone, you're going to be getting some bunny power. Char Bunny's going to be taking over the host station. Her legendary voice is going to be taking you through these next few runs after this interview. One more thought before I part, though. Con permiso, GDQ. The hall is rented. The orchestra is engaged. It's now time to see if you around the world can dance for the road the $3.5 million begins right now. Hello, Summer Games Done Quick 2022. How is everybody feeling in the audience? Excellent, you love to hear it. Everybody at home, I hope you're enjoying. That Metroid Dread run was fantastic. Let's get some pot friends in chat because everybody, I have been looking forward to this interview all week. I am joined by the ever incredible Hypersomniac and Catalyst. The both of you, how are you feeling? Um, I'm doing quite all right. How about you, Hyper? Fantastic. Yeah, I'm excited. Fantastic. Excellent. I love to hear it. I, I got to tell you, these two are running 
Elden Ring this evening, and you are not going to want to miss either of their runs. Of course, we have Hypersomniac on the bonus run for any percent and Catalyst on all remembrances. Let's get right into the questions, guys. So, Hypersomniac, you've spent a good chunk of this year grinding Elden Ring, especially those shorter categories. So I want to know, what about those shorter speedruns entices you? Um, I like that it's like whenever... Um Whenever you, you lose a run or something, you can get like right back into it. It's like things can go wrong if you have like a really long run, but those shorter ones you can just like keep going back to back. Um, but they can be tedious because uh, it's like every little time save that you right. possibly get, you're, you're going to want to get. Right. So we measure in game time. So it's like, um, for example, every time we, we have a hard landing animation, we'll quit out to save that like extra half second or second or so, just to get like as much time as possible. Grinding it down to the second, we love to hear it. And Catalyst, you are a veteran Souls runner. I mean, we've seen you on the stage before. We see you all over the leaderboards. What draws you to Elden Ring? Well, I think the novelty, really. I've been running Dark Souls 1 for over four years, and having the opportunity to learn new patterns, lab bosses, and, and just, you know, be rewarded for every single minute that I spend in the game by learning something new, that is like um, really driving me towards Elden Ring right now, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. That's a stupendous answer, and I have to know, you know, for you, sort of the opposite of Hypersomniac's question, for you, All Remembrance is the sort of longer category. What drew you to that? Well, mostly because there's more content in the run, so you get to learn more about the game and improve as a player more rapidly, sure. rather than grinding something shorter. And on top of that, it takes longer to optimize it, so that means you do not reset as much. Again, having more playtime and making you a better player overall. Great. And Hypersomniac, this is your first run live on the GDQ stage. How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling good, you know. Um, I'm having trouble sleeping because I'm so excited, <laughs> but uh, I think the Red Bull is going to get me through. <laughs> oh, we love the brand integration. We love the brand integration. Uh, and Catalyst... Me, please. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. A call out. Uh, Catalyst, for you, you know, you are a veteran of our stage. You've done runs with us before. What would your advice be to Hypersomniac? What would be your, like, your one big piece of advice? This is an advice that I give to all the youngsters around here. <laughs> now, anytime anyone asks me about, like, what they should do at a marathon, I always say don't worry too much about the performance uh, when it comes to the speed run. Don't dwell on the mistakes. Enjoy the run, be entertaining, explain everything well, and no one's going to remember any mistakes that you've made, and it's going to be a fantastic run, which I'm sure it will be if it gets met. What a phenomenal piece of advice. That is fantastic. Thank you. Uh, well, great. We have some questions on social media from actually our viewers at home. Here's a great question from our very own Brutal Mello. Hello, Mello. Uh, so we have a question here for both of you. How low is your vigor, which is the, the health stat uh, throughout Elden Ring, throughout the run, and which are some of the scariest bosses at low health? Hypersomniac, we'll start with you. Yeah, so um, the first boss that we'll fight will be Godskin Duo, and so for that fight, we're only going to have 24 vigor. Wow. And so, yeah, it makes the fight um, kind of intense. You, you can only take, like, two hits, um, and then some hits even like one shot. So you need to be really careful in that fight because you've got both the Godskin Noble and the Apostle uh, going at you. So uh, yeah, we'll have uh, 24 Vigor for that, and then we'll get up to 30 for Malekith and Radagon and Elden Beast near the end. So. And for you, Kata, obviously you're in a longer category. How does that compare? Well, Ed, if you see, when you have such good gaming skills <laughs> as myself, I am not afraid. Sure, yeah. Any of course, boss, of course. Except, except it will be afternoon in Japan. So Hidetaka Miyazaki is bound to be awake, and I'm sure he's going to be scouting the run, trying to get me wrecked. Oh, wow. I'll be running around for quite a while with just 20 vigor, and especially the bosses in Nokron in 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 Shifra um, in Shifra River can be quite trolly. So I'm a bit scared of them, I guess. But sure. I'm sure it will go okay. It always does. It always plays <laughs> out. Excellent. Another quick one here, just quick. What are your your first thought? Question from a wild Yami enters reads: Favorite Elden Ring boss to fight? For both of you, Hypersomniac, go first. Yeah. So for me, it's definitely going to be Placidus X. Um, he's an optional boss uh, down at the bottom of Faramazula, and so it's like you get in that fight. You've just got this ominous cutscene where he's mm. floating there. You start the fight. You have the lightning and the the really epic music, and it's just a really fun, difficult, long fight. The coolest boss arena in all of Souls, sure. in my opinion. Yeah, I uh, I agree with Hypersomniac. He's a really good boss. You don't have to chase him at all, even though he's super big and has a big arena. But for me, it's Godfrey. It's got to be Godfrey. As a Dark Souls 1 runner, he really reminds me of the DS1 fights where 
the attacks are a little bit slower, but when you get hit, they hit like a truck. So it's right. really important to like get your dodge skills ready and um, you know don't spam that roll too hard. Excellent. Well, we are going to quickly throw to some prizes here with our prize extraordinaire sent. Both of you, thank you so much. Sent, let's hear about those wonderful, beautiful, extraordinary prizes, please. Thank you so much, Adef. As you can see in front of me, we do indeed have some wonderful, beautiful, extraordinary prizes. We have a Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker Collector's Edition prize pack from our friends over at Final Fantasy XIV. It is a $100 minimum donation until the end of the event, and you all really need to get your donations in. I want to go over each and everything that comes in this pack because it is all just absolutely fantastic. You get the collector's edition of Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, the physical collector's edition and everything inside of it, which let me tell you, you can't get the physical collector's edition of Endwalker. It's sold out almost instantly when it was announced. It is still just impossible to find anywhere, and it comes with so many lovely things. You know, first off, right here on the table in front of us, we have a series of art prints from Final Fantasy XIV depicting the Warrior of Light's journey from the very start of the game through Heaven's Word, Stormblood, uh, Shadowbringers, Endwalker, to the current game there at the end. Um, I actually... You know, I've seen that artwork on promotional stuff for Endwalker before of, of Ardbert there as a full-fledged paladin. Hadn't even, you know, occurred to me that, you know, the 2.0 artwork of the character was basically mirrored. It's, it's just a real cool thing seeing it all splayed out in front of us. It also comes with a, uh, a picture stand for that, that you could put any of these pieces of artwork in. I've chosen to put in a picture of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, the kind of protagonists of the story of 14, all arranged nicely together. Absolutely beautiful piece. It also comes with this lovely statue of Ardbert, the Warrior of Light, as a paladin, performing uh, one of the paladin's signature capstone abilities, Hallowed Wings. Make sure to stand behind Ardbert here. You gotta get your damage reduction. Always mitigate properly, everyone. Remember, stand in the fire, DPS not higher, you are dead. You are dead, Alize. Please stop doing that. Um, in addition to all of the lovely contents of the Collector's Edition, you get some other wonderful things. You get these official Alice and Alphano uh, Levieur statues here. I believe these are actually Japanese crane game exclusives. They are both fantastic. I'm going to talk about both of them at once. I'm a red mage at heart, so I'm going to dual cast some prizes for you. Uh, we've got Alphano and Alize together, and Alphano comes with this lovely moonstone carbuncle, one of the carbuncles we've never gotten to summon. It's a shame, but, uh, you know, we got the carbuncle by itself, as well as Alphano and Alize on these lovely little stands that hold them up perfectly. Alize as a red mage, and Alphano still as a scholar. Back before uh, our favorite little levier made the transition to Sage. You also get this loverit, lovely Loperit plush here. It's a keychain. You can attach it to things. If you've got a friend that needs something built all the time, this Loperit is going to be great. Alternatively, if you've got a ninja friend in your life, just constantly stick it on top of their head. This will annoy them to no end. Trust me on this one. You'll love it. Uh, in addition, you also get this lovely wearable speaker set. Um, you know, imagine surround sound, right? This is a cross between like a travel pillow and a speaker. It is the literal definition of surround sound. You place it around your neck and you hear everything directionally. It is absolutely super cool. Again, this whole pack, everything on this table is a $100 minimum donation, including the thing I'm not talking about, this lovely little pin here. If you know, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to have one of these. Not going to go into too much detail. Spoilers ahead. $100 minimum donation for the entire prize pack. Thank you so much to the team at Final Fantasy XIV for providing it to us. Again, I cannot stress enough how absolutely impossible it is to find the physical collector's edition of Endwalker right now. And it was so amazing that they were able to give us one to give away to all of you uh, to raise money for Doctors Without Borders. Such an incredible cause. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, honestly, I feel like there's so much 14 stuff in here. This is what I do when I'm not talking about prizes. I feel at home. A almost. Yeah. Now I feel at home. Hey, Def, I'm, I'm going to go plug this in. Uh, why, don't, why don't you finish off the interview? Sure, will do. Uh, thank you so much to Send. Of course, thank you to Catalyst and Hypersomniac. Stay tuned, of course, for all the amazing runs this evening and do donate towards our bonus incentives. Elden Ring, any percent by Hypersomniac will be a bonus incentive to close out the marathon. And everybody, that is it for ADEF for SGDQ 2022. It has been an absolute blast to share this experience with you all. I can't wait to see you at the next event. Thank you and merci. Uh, please continue to donate towards Médecins Sans Frontières and Doctors Without Borders.
Uh, and much love, gamers. Take care, stay safe, and stay tuned for Kaizo Super Metroid with your very own oats and goats. Take care, gamers. Wow, thank you so much, Ada, for that fantastic interview. And did you see all those prizes? Oh my goodness, please keep those donations coming in. Hello, everyone. My name is Char Bunny, and I am